Australian native Michael Charles is on tour with his band with six performances in and around Chicago, ending at Buddy Guy's Legends next month. The Chicago Blues Hall of Famer is here to tell us about the No Detours 2023 tour. Welcome to you. It's a pleasure. I'm so glad to meet you. You are Chicago Blues Hall of Fame royalty. So welcome to WGN again. Thanks for having me back. It's always a pleasure. So uh, there's no shortage of gigs that you are uh, about to play. But let's take a step back because I love your personal story. You're originally from Australia, as we mentioned. You're doing your thing down there 30-something years ago. And then Buddy Guy and his management team get wind of who you are. And then what happens? That's, what, that's how it started. So um, when uh, I, I came out, I came out for the two weeks because Buddy uh, and his management, I couldn't tell you exactly the, the whole story because it was between his management and mine. But it got me here. Uh, I was here for two weeks. And then once that was over, went back home to Australia and got off the plane and pretty much looked around and said, <laughs> I'm going back, man. <laughs> it's like I, I felt like there was unfinished business. Really? So. Uh, came back and I thought I'll stick around for six months or so, get it out of my system and that was uh, over 30 odd years ago. So I'm still on those six months. It was a long yeah, six right. months. And yeah. nearly 40 releases later, you've played with some of the best out there. Eddie Clearwater, Junior Wells, mm -hmm. James Cotton. Does it ever go to your head sometimes when you were playing with those folks as a younger guy like, whoa? It actually goes to the knees. You get wobbly. I bet you do. It's like, yeah, it's, it's like, um, uh, for me, I can't talk for all artists, but for me, I get so humbled to be able to meet these people and, and share a stage. It's something you don't think about too much. You just I do it. I love the blues because I think it's so relatable on so many different levels. Mm -hmm. It's uh, The blues is like, to me, the, the foundation of all music. Yeah, for sure. Obviously, the Rolling Stones, who some consider to be the greatest band, rock and roll band, but their roots are, are in blues as well, and so many others. All American blues, yeah. I mean, they every it influ the blues influenced so much that it's uh, we could be sitting down for hours in a. Well, I got to ask you this: uh, Does this particular guitar have a name? This is majestic. Yeah. I call How it every many do guitar. you have? I've lost track, to be honest. <laughs> I'd like to be the, uh, the guitar salesman uh, for you. So if you would, please, um, we're going to tell folks where you're going to be playing here coming up. But can you introduce your bandmates and what are you going to play for us today? I'm going to do a song called Long Way to Go because um, um, it's just um, a song that I like playing. It's a song that got released back in Australia back in 1989, actually. Really? And uh, I just... I don't know why we said, what are we going to play today? And we just chose that song. Right on. And who do you have here with you? Well, I got uh, on drums, you got Peter, hey, Peter, which is just just came in. Same with Todd back on, on right bass. On. Um, two great musicians. I feel quite uh, honored to have them with me. And uh, let's a see if we can pull this off. I'm going to shake your hand. Thank you, Patrick. It's great to meet you. Michael Charles, this is the next two shows are the 18th and the 21st of this month. You see the information right there on your screen. You got an appearance at Buddy Guy's Legends coming up. You got one in Ottawa and on and on. So for more information on where you can find him, just go to the rest of the performances, the rest of Illinois shows over the next month. Check out michaelcharles.us. If you would please, gentlemen, Thank take you. it away. One, two, one, two, three, four. So 
Such a 